This video is brought to you in part by True Tech Tools. Quality tools, essential support. Well guys, guess what? We got ready to come here to eat and then next thing I know it seems a little cool in the house. So I go downstairs and the ECM blower motor on my Linux furnace, which is from 2002, that's been running non-stop since 2002, 2003 when we moved in the house, when I built it, is sitting there kicking on, kicking off. So, we're gonna go take a look at it and see if we can make it work. All right, we're home. Let's go take a look at this, see what we got. If I need to, I got an old pulse, pulse blower here, the P PSC motor. We can make that work. But, I'm always kind of preparing for things like this. So I literally got a constant torque motor here out of an EL195 because I used to work for an, uh, a Linux dealer. I think I lost one speed out of it. I'm cheap, so it's not what you make, it's what you spend. And so we can make this work if we need to, but I've got an idea. All right, so what we have here is a Linux G26. And what I've done in the past is whenever I had an ECM motor, I usually kept that just in case, you know, the, the uh, motor took a dump. And I've been keeping the spare control modules because usually you lose the MOV, metal oxide varistor. But I don't believe that happened with this one. Now this one here, I think is still good. And this is out of a Linux and I'm pretty sure I had that thing set in there for a while. Because, you know, we do warranty, and if they didn't ask for it back, I'd just keep it. And so, this furnace, what's interesting about it is it's two-stage, but the way they did it, this is a Series 4, and it is O2, so it's still mint condition. I wasn't even using it, because, see, the way I've got mine set up, I've got a heat pump here, got my ultraviolet light here, and then I actually added le uh, electric strips to it. So, if I want, these are off right now. Like I said, Linux dealer, that's what it was before. Uh, we also did, we was dual, we did a uh, carrier too. So anyhow, that's what I ran most of the time was a heat pump when LP gas, which is what I'm on because I'm in the country, I didn't want to spend the money on the propane. So I would sometimes use the electric strips as, you know, it was cheaper. And then I built me a switch in here, gas heat versus electric heat. And I just did multiple different windings, wirings here so I could do one or the other. So if I wasn't home and she needed to switch it, it actually would direct path from the electric elements to W on the board. So what this board here did is they didn't put the integrated ECM part controller in this board. They did it on the next version after it. So I literally got an ECM controller right here. And then here's my two-stage board. Well, what I end up doing, I have a tester here we can go ahead and turn it on and you can literally kick on the tester here and if blower comes on sort of see it takes off and it stops see it's starting to speed up and it slows down so that's what's going on it doesn't matter whether I do heat speed or whatever I've got uh, I originally had just the single button one and I bought this one recently Sometimes it works for different speeds, which is kind of neat if you got one of the older motors, but it's it's not doing much for me. So it's not my controller here, which is how you'd normally determine that. So what I'm curious of, if we go ahead and yank this out, can we swap this? Now, I've tried switching these before in the past, and if they're not programmed for that motor, they will not work. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and kill power. See, the auxiliary heat's wanting to come on because the thermostat's saying, hey, it's too cold in here. Ain't nothing worse than getting ready to leave to go do something finally, and you're on call anyway, and then this crap happens. Right angle tool to the rescue. That gets it loose. We have to unhook our power to our ultraviolet bulb. There we go. And of course, you got all this wiring crap in the way. Go ahead and unhook the module. That I use for testing. I'll hook the high voltage. This is why I don't do residential videos because it's usually the same stupid crap. It's usually airflow, a motor, or an igniter. Okay, get this up here. 
Yeah, they kind of screwed up when they did this here. They didn't make it so it was very easy to get out of that. It had two 3 8 screws in there because you know that's got to be overly secured. And then they put the eyelet right there. This is this is engineering at its best. Let's put the track for the blower right in line with our main wires here. Even though we had plenty of room, we could have moved it over. Nope. Let's not do a quick disconnect with a Molex plug. Let's put it right in the way. Gotta love them. God bless you, Lennox. You guys always did make a lot of jobs for us. They used to be good furnaces. And then they just went to piss after that. This was their best furnace at the time. Okay, there's that. Now we can get it out a little easier. Get the wires out of the way. There we go. Not bad shape. Hasn't been nothing done to that for 20 years. What's mean green and makes a pulse run mean? The ground wire. Whatever. So let's find out if we can get away with taking just that off and replacing that. We'll see if it works. I don't know if it will. It may, it may not. Since they're both Linux, maybe, maybe, doubt it. Might be able to make it work, but let's try and see. Now this is high voltage inside here. These capacitors can store voltage after you kill the power to it. So you're not supposed to get in here and play, which these videos are not instructional videos on how to do it for the homeowner. There's my electronics. So we got it off there. We went through and checked resistance between all the individual legs and we came out to 10.7 between each individual leg in all different uh, formats, whether it be the first two, the outside two, and the two in the middle, or the one in the middle and the outside corner. Nothing to ground. So we know that our motor here is fine. So it's something in the electronics. I did not see anything in here damaged, nothing at all. I don't see anything burnt. Nothing smells burnt. They're not identical. They are close. They both have the capacitors. 1000 microfarad. That's a 1000 microfarad. The choke, you got two capacitors there and the MOV. So it's pretty much the same one. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in. We'll see if it works. It's 16 pin still. This is a 2.3, ooh, 2.3. 2.3 and 2.5, maybe it was 2.5 that acted stupid. I'm trying to remember, what's this one here? Half horse GE, we're out nothing at this point. Half horse GE, 2008, so it's a little newer. I don't remember, actually, this might actually be bad. I think I wrote, yeah, I think I wrote B on there for bad, maybe. I don't remember, we'll try it, see what happens. We got everything wired back up. We got the power here. You know, once again, don't do it like I'm doing it. Got my box plugged in. We got the high voltage coming into here. May work, may not work. Got power on. Let's see what happens with continuous fan. Well, that's a good sign. The blower actually works. I can hear it like revving. There's heat. That's a good sign. Cool. So as long as that transmitting programmer there that tells it the speed to run at works, we'll be all right. Maybe. Back on again. See if PETA, PETA pulse width. It, pink. I had to use pulse width before with my other one and it don't work with this one. Cool. It's funny how heat was faster than cool. Let's go ahead and unplug the controller. Got it out of there. Literally it's loose yet. <clears throat> now I will tell you, I just got a freaking call for an ice machine. It's eight. 8.43, so I don't know if that's going to happen tonight. May have to wait till tomorrow, because I don't see a reason for an ice machine this late at night. Let's see if this thing will bring on the fan. It's controlling it. What kind of blinky blinks have we got going on here? One, two, three, four, five. So we're at 500 to 450-ish area. Um, that's about what this runs on low. Feels like it's kind of do 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 I don't know if it's because it's out of the 
furnace or what. Let's see what the amp draw is on it. Point four amps and it's not fluctuating that I can see. Tell you what guys, I think I'm gonna get lucky. Let's go ahead and put this back together and uh, see what happens. We're gonna go ahead and pull this blower uh, wheel out and clean it. That's, that's all the bigger this motor is. This thing literally, I've been running this since, uh, I think we moved in in March of 2003. So this thing literally is 20 years old this month. No up and down play at all. And really no left to right play. It does feel like, or sound like it might have a little bit of bearing noise. I can't really tell. And get this thing washed out. So we went ahead and checked the secondary heat exchanger, made sure there was nothing packed into that. Swept it all out since I have the sweeper down here and uh, washed out the housing too while I was at it. We got our wire protector there back in place. Got my UV bulb hooked back up. Draft motor spins up, make sure it's working. Blower's coming on. Chances are, as soon as the thermostat finds its uh, place, it's gonna probably bring on the auxiliary heat because we're probably below 70 degrees. And uh, then I gotta go run that call. So the draft motor just came on. The igniter should come on here in a second. There it goes. There goes the gas. We have kaboom. All right, blower's on, it's running. Let's see what kind of CFM we're running here on that. You know, this will probably be the last Linux I buy. Uh, I wanted to go to one of the Carrier Infinity uh, heat pumps potentially, and I would have had a, good, uh, a matching air handler for it. This one here is obviously getting towards its end. And uh, so it's just uh, becoming more of a reality. But we have heat again and we have a blower, so everything's looking good. New, uh, Like I said, the blower wheel's cleaned up, got everything swept out. Shouldn't look too bad going on 20 years old. If that motor takes a dump, we got that one there. The motors pretty much are all the same. They're all three-phase DC motors. The electronics is the only thing that usually goes out on them. Like I said, this one technically is just the brains are squiggled. Power module technically appears to be all right on it. Unfortunately, we'll just keep on to that and uh, I'll just leave it here with it. That's about it. All right, if you guys enjoyed the video and you wanna see more like it, check my other ones out. Till next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Later.